Hey guys, it's me, SMG, and it's been a little while since we've done a normal video. Due to my busyness and laziness as well, I haven't had the energy to push out a video, but we're not going to do that any further. We're going to get right through this one. A uh, real quick update, we're going to do the NASCAR DC Solar Scandal next, and then we'll probably do how New Super Luigi U triggers you. We have War of the Pissed Off Drivers, Episode 2, Kevin Harvick versus Kyle Busch. This is a rivalry that I remember. I'm sure many of you guys probably do. It was not good. And unlike the Episode 1, because there were so many run-ins, I'm not going to pause after each one and talk about it. I'm just going to roll through it. So without further ado, let's -a go. Oh, there they go. There it went again. Oh, there they go. Hard. I told you, you can't do that. Didn't make it that time. Caution is out. Here comes another car spinning. Oh, around. my God. And LaJoy at 34. And that's all because he locked it down. Spin and save, though, for LaJoy. As this wreck is still going on. I'm not so I, I think it's going on purpose. Still uh, going on purpose. I think one of them's throttles hung. I'm not sure which one. And, uh, Kyle, what happened out there? Uh, I had a really, really, really awesome shot back low Chevrolet today, and it was going to win the race, but um, Kevin Harvick wanted to end the day short on us. You know, I got underneath him two or three times, and he ran me low, real low, coming off turn four, especially twice, and um, took all the air off my spoiler, and I got loose and was trying to chase it up the racetrack, and squeezed him in the fence, and then he wanted to commit murder on me and drive me down into turn one, wide open, all the way along the side of my car, so... I think NASCAR's a little upset with me because I drove it back along the front straightaway the wrong way. And, um, you know, that's just because I didn't want to cause a big fight down there with Kevin Harvick. After they've made their stops. Oh! oh very tired, dude. Oh, man! Is that a misjudgment or is that a turn on purpose? Rusty, what do you think? Well, it looked like Kevin oh, was trying to dart man. back underneath them. He had a big run and just didn't quite clear him. It looked like a racing accident to me, but boy, it's They awful. bumped earlier, though. Remember, earlier yeah. they, had a, they had some... Uh, Makes you wonder. Hard up hill road. Wow. See, Kevin oh, tried to right do that swap over. And four. Wow. Now you heard Kevin's radio. Let's look and see what happens here. Kevin's coming off the top of the racetrack. He did. He slid right yeah. up. Thought he had him clear. Kevin gets below him, and mm. woo! Mm -mm -mm. I'd say it was incidental, but uh, Kyle's probably not going to feel that way. Watch them coming off turn two here. Kevin has plenty of room on the outside, but he stays off the wall, and as a result, he gets into Kyle. Then, going into turn three, he hits Kyle again. No reason. Then they make contact again off four, and Kyle's had enough, and he brushes gently against him. I think it's kind of hard to blame Kyle. He got ran into a lot beforehand. <laughs> Kevin, why didn't you take your helmet off? You're a badass, aren't you? <laughs> and how you got to pay a $25,000 towing bill. That's a no parking zone. Didn't you know that? Hey, I'm happy Harvick. Wasn't even serious. I even kept my helmet on. All I wanted to do was make Kyle leave a Darlington stripe in his pants. Me and my crew were just trying to scare the M&Ms out of him. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be in so much trouble with Delana. She would have took her helmet off for sure. <laughs> Anyone towel worthy? You bet your ass, Bernsey. Roll it. Running with Kyle Busch earlier. Kyle said he was running me pretty darn hard. Were you playing with him, Kevin? He's only seen the beginning of it. Spends about five laps running Kyle all over the racetrack. Come on. Kevin ended up finishing fifth at Pocono. Imagine how much better he might have finished if he hadn't wasted his time here. Inside. Haven't seen a lot of passes made on the inside. And this time, Jason White's able to surge out in front. What about Kevin Harvick? What an aggressive restart he had. Oh, Kyle Busch into the wall hard. Elliott Sadler and Kyle Busch make contact. It's not going to be four to one. Four to one for Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch, right front oh, damage, a... severe damage, and we got problems in turn number four. So he hit Kyle in the back to let him know he didn't like what he saw. And there Kyle goes for retaliation. Hits the 24 of Elliott Sadler. Sadler goes around. This time the caution comes out. Holy cow. Per second, I'm trying that... to take that spot away. How about that young driver, Ronda Hornaday, who's trying to get by Kyle Busch here? Ooh, close, Three close. wide into turn four. That moves Kyle Busch all the way up the racetrack. He has to catch it. Hornaday gets in the wall. The wall. And Hornaday catches the wall. Caution's out, caution's out. Caution is going to come out. 
both drivers trying to get by. Look like the 17 of Timothy Peters. They slid up the racetrack, right. and now Kyle Busch hey, not down. happy Calm at down. all. It's all good, dude. And Kyle Busch is going to turn over three in the wall. Our Damn championship it. contender Hornaday in the wall. Well, Kyle Busch should be parked for this race and maybe the rest of the season for that. Holy cow, I can't believe he did that. Championship contender, Ron Hornaday, hard into the wall. Kyle Busch sends him in. I don't think NASCAR is going to... You know, I think this goes beyond a little bit of have at it, boys. Oh, it's definitely way past that. That truck's running 130, 40 miles an hour when it hits that outside look, wall. Look at that thing jump up off the ground. Tell you what, better send his ass in his motorhome. So I'm going to come find him. And he's going to have to hold my watch. Because I'm going to whip his ass. He's the biggest, whitest little piece of shit I have ever seen in my whole life. Now, there was a mix-up in 2020 with them as well, where Harvick dumped Kyle Busch to try and get into the next round of the playoffs. But it didn't work. Harvick ended up wrecked. Kyle went across the line after saving his spin. Thankfully, the drivers solved it after the race. They worked it out. But everybody will remember their actual rivalry that began in 2005 and basically ended in 2011. I hope you enjoyed episode 2 of War of the Pissed Off Drivers. If you like this content, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next video.